Hi everyone, welcome to just another episode of the Holistic Back Health series. Today I want to tell you about what the real causes of back pain are. In more than 90% of all people with back pain, the causes are what they call unspecific, meaning they can't be traced back to one specific cause, as it would be if you had a tumor, if you had a nerve root lesion, or if you actually have broken your back. So in more than 90% of the cases, the uh, causes are multifactorial, meaning they can have several different causes, and it's not what your, your doctor um, told you, the diagnosis he gave you, as for example, that you have a scoliosis, that you have a disc bulge, or that you um, actually have um, uh, spinal degenerations. Those can be part of it, but there are many studies who've shown, which, show, which have shown that um, people with those spinal degenerations and disc bulges, they don't have any pain or they, have, they actually even um, haven't had any pain their whole life. So it doesn't mean that when you have gotten one of those diagnoses that this is specifically your cause, but um, I would like to explain back pain more from a um, holistic biopsychosocial um, point of view. And for that, I want to show you this, uh, this model that I have. And um, it shows a barrel which is filled with lots of different causes. So it can be um, that you just actually only have an unhealthy diet, um, that you have a lot of fears and you, you're walking around with a lot of tension in your body, um, that you actually have a, a disc bulge or scoliosis, but that's just part of the whole um, barrel, which is filled with all of these things. And the bottom that builds the bottom of, of, of all um, yeah, your, your back problems is most of the time a lack of exercise and negative stress. And when all these things add up and you then have one what they call wrong movement, right? You're bending forward and you try to pick something up and then you feel it in your back. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's just what brings the barrel to, um, to overflow, right? So um, the reasons are so many different ones, but it looks like it would only be this one wrong movement or the one um, diagnosis that you've gotten from your, from your doctor. So um, all these different things, when they add up, they can lead to back pain or neck pain if you wake up in the morning and then you feel, oh my God, like my neck hurts. Um, it wasn't because you slept in a wrong way or something, um, because you probably always slept this way. It was just that your whole barrel was filled with so many different biopsychosocial factors um, that now in the morning you woke up and, um, and uh, you overstressed your back then, as it is when you pick something up and then it's just this one more time when you stress your back and that leads to, to the problems then. But the good thing is that this Barrel also has a drain cock, meaning that when you're, when you're able to, to open that drain cock, to actually let all um, the stress that's filled up um, drain, because you did a lot of like, movement in general, you did some, some, some sports, you, you had enough rest and recovery, um, you actually took care of your stress, um, you started having a more healthy, a more anti-inflammatory diet, or you did specific exercises, then you're able to, um, to drain all of the different causes so that there is no overflow anymore, right? So um, when, when the level of your barrel is lower, you won't have any pain. So the whole point of this is you know, when I'm saying that, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't take care of like your scoliosis or you shouldn't um, take care of if you have a disc bulge then to maybe um, 
have that area a little bit more um, stabilized with your exercises and in your everyday life, but it um, should give you an idea that there are many ways to um, relieve your pain. And even, you know, if you have problems like a scoliosis or actually this bulge, but I had two herniated discs and, and um, I probably still have them, but um, since I'm taking care of my barrel, I don't feel any pain anymore for the last years. Um, so what's important is that you, that you don't become frightened if you get any diagnosis from your doctor that you can't really do anything about, but that you focus more on, um, on letting go of all these different, um, the barrel filling things and concentrate more on general movement, on stress management, on, um, on rest recovery, and of course specific exercises as I um, teach you here in this series. And so I hope you learned a little bit today and um, I also hope that you stop um, in case you do having fears um, when, when you think about your back, but that you start to realize that your back is very resilient and um, it can stand a lot of, a lot of um, problems and a lot of um, dysfunctions and it can very well compensate for them so that you won't have um, any pain. But if you want to gain long-lasting uh, health for your back, you, you want to do specific exercises um, in order to, to limit the stress that's put on your back. And for those, um, you, can, you can watch my other videos here and um, I will put out uh, new ones with new exercises as well. So I hope you like this video and you continue watching the series and um, please leave me a comment if you have any questions. Um, I'm very happy to answer them for you. And as always, um, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.